We, we just re-reacted to a song. Not on purpose. Um, we knew the song when the video came out. Really, yeah. And we, th- we were like, have we seen the music video? I didn't recognize the music video. Rick did. I looked up. We had reacted to it like two years ago. Yeah. It happens. It's happened... I want to say at max five times. Yeah, you can count it on one hand. Um, kind of like your IQ. Yeah. Um, the amount of times we've re-reacted a song and not known that we had... That time we... Uh, we we uh, knew like, the minute knew the, song the song started, song, yeah. The, uh, uh, but 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 um, sometimes da, but it's a less memorable song. Correct. And it was like two years ago, and we've reacted yeah. to... I, I would say probably 5,000 things. And so it's easy to lose track of sure. what you have and haven't. But uh, what's great is if 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 we get really old and we start to have some memory loss, we'll just have fresh reactions all the time. When we get old, Rick, yeah, you're old as shit. Just- hey, welcome back to our stupid directions. <laughs> Old joke always lands. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, Rick, this is a good one for you. <sighs> is it? This is called, Why Does Bengali Sound So Sweet? That's a great question. Because... Why does it sound so sweet? Why don't you answer that for me, Rick? Because it both looks and sounds absolutely beautiful. I think Bengali, and I... I... You're saying that because you married to a Bengali. No, I'm not. I'm saying that because it's a beautiful language, and I'm not the only one who thinks so. Clearly, as we're about to react to something, it does. It has beautiful sounds, and the script of it looks really beautiful. Oh, does it? Yeah. Because Bengali say oh a lot. Burn. It's a lovely sound. I, I love listening to Indrani talk on the phone to friends and family. Well, that's good. It's just It would be bad oh. if you hated listening to your wife, Rick. Mm. It's not just, well, her voice is glorious. She's, her voice is amazing. But the fact that the language she's also speaking when she talks to them, it's just, it's just captivating. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to make another joke. <laughs> was, oh, you, you already got what I was going to say. Here we go. <laughs> What's she saying, Rick? I don't know. I don't speak Bengali yet, but my wife is teaching me. Boca Choda? <sighs> I don't speak Bengali, and probably you don't as well. But if you're anything like me, I mean, I mean, Johnny. That the language is really sweet. It's like it does not have any sharp edges, and it melts right away in your ears. Is that true? Well, I agree. The question has been on my mind for ages, and it's time to answer it. Why does Bengali sound so sweet? Rasguli. I know what you're thinking. No, guys, the answer isn't Rasgulla. <laughs> Besides, it's Roshogulla. What are you even saying? Stop Seriously. Bangla li- <laughs> or Bengali is a fairly young language that has evolved from Magadhi Prakrit in the 10th century AD. It is the sixth most spoken language in the world and second most spoken language in India. But there isn't just one type of Bengali. Correct. Bengali's dialects have spread all over Bengal and Bangladesh, and they actually sound really different from each other. I know that. For example, Silhati Bangla, spoken in Bangladesh, and Kolkata Bangla, called the standard Bangla. Ah, I'm good. How are you? (laughs) Also notice how Kolkata Bangla differs from Chittagongian Bangla. Notice how Chittagongian and Sileti seem to have a bit of sign of Tibetan influence in them. Because the video is directed towards India, the discussion would be limited to the standard Bengali or the variant of Bengali that's spoken in the Nodia district in West Bengal. So with that context, let's come back to the initial question. Why is Bengali so sweet? In our last video, we talked about the retroflex ERDA and we saw how Bengali does not have the sound or even the letter. But ERDA is not the only retroflex. 
there are other retroflexes as well. For example, the retroflex Rda, Rda, and Rda. Bengali has Rda to denote these sounds, but guess what? Just like Rda, Bengalis never use these sounds. They pronounce these letters exactly like the softer Na, Ra, and Ra. Listen to the song played in the beginning. Notice how the first line, Preme Pora Baron, actually uses the letters D and N, but they are never pronounced using their original sounds. To give another example, here is a popular song adapted in Bollywood. Notice how the lyrics read Boro Loker Beti, but it is pronounced as Boro Loker Beti. Retroflex sounds lend an element of crispness to languages, and by avoiding these, Bengali words become easier to pronounce and more free flow. I've always heard Hindi compared to Bengali, Bangla that Hindi is a little harsher, a little itself. harder. Take, for example, the three sa sounds, as in sa, sha, and sha in Hindi. Bengali has the corresponding letters, but they are all pronounced the same, sha. There are a few exceptions here and there, but largely sha dominates over sa. Take for example the word Sanatan in Hindi. Now in the word, the first sa is used. And when you write the word in Bengali, you also use the word sa. But the pronunciation of the word happens to be Shonaton. Sanatan. Shonaton. 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 Shon. 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 The sh sound is perceived to be softer than the sa sound. And that is another reason Shon. why Bengali words sound so soft. Another interesting thing to note is that the Bengali script came much later after the language. The script evolved from the Siddham script, which was greatly influenced by sounds that were used to denote Sanskrit. But the issue was that many of these concepts in the script, like Badiu, Chotiu, they were never really part of Bengali. Therefore, even if the language uses these vowels, in practical Bengali, there is absolutely no difference between Badiu, Chotiu, Badi-e or Chotii. Take for example the pronunciation of Deen and Din. Now the translation into Bengali, the words are pronounced exactly the same. Deen and Deen. Din Deen. Deen Deen. Bangla has another interesting property <laughs> where it likes to simplify its consonant clusters. A consonant that is attached to the sound Ma, for example, is pronounced as the letter itself. Take for example the word Lakshmi in Hindi. This word is pronounced as Lokhi in Bangla. Also take the example of Bhishma in Hindi. This is pronounced as Bhisho. Also the sound Ksha is simplified to kya. This property is not just unique to Bengali, but also Odias do it. Notice how this Bangladeshi news reporter, for example, pronounces the name of the actor. Welcome to New York. My question is Deepika and Okhoi both. So instead of saying Akshay, huh. he says Okhoi. As you see, Bengali tends to keep this consonant vowel, okay. consonant vowel okay. structure Interesting. and really does not like this consonant consonant pair. And therefore the sounds sound softer because of the vowel present. Disclaimer alert, which means the most fun part of the video is here, so pay attention. <laughs> one of these two shapes is called Kiki and another one is Boba. Can you take five seconds to figure out which one is Kiki and which one is Boba? Boba. Kiki's on the left, Boba's on the right, yeah. Boba's the softer one. Well, if you guess that the second one is Boba and the first one is Kiki, you are correct. Linguists have found that we associate the O sound, like in Boba, to be soft and rounded. While well, and the, the B e sound is harsh and spiky, which is why we associate Kiki, Boba with do you love me? Are you writing? Kiki to be something sharp. And as some of you might have guessed, that brings us to the point why Bengali sounds so sweet. Consider these pair of Hindi Sanskrit words. Ram. Rama, Rachna, Rachana, Ved, Veda. Notice how Sanskrit adds an A sound to the end of each letter, while Hindi does not. Almost like there is a halant on the end of each letter. 
the a uh sound that sanskrit adds is called shwa and this isn't just unique to sanskrit several languages have shwa in them a shwari arai for example would call this word usako and not usko odia calls this word ghoro while a hindi person would call it ghar bengali similarly has shwa in it but interestingly it's not a uh, it's o o oh. therefore the hindi word vasant which in sanskrit would be vasanta in bengali boshonto. becomes boshonto similarly this word in hindi is path in sanskrit is patha and in bengali becomes potho ant anta onto on and therefore oh, this oh, isn't oh, vivekanand oh, it is oh, 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 oh. no not even that it's vivekanando could have really gone without saying that man <laughs> every word of bengali the meta sound is abundant and to connect it to the experiment in the very beginning we saw how rounded sounds are associated to be more softer that may be one reason why bengali in general is perceived to be soft well to conclude this video let me leave you with some cultural trivia do you know that from the 18th century to the early 20th <coughs> century there was a cultural revolution in bengal called the bengal renaissance This revolution questioned the existing customs and rituals of the Indian society of that time from the caste system to the dowry system and to the practice of sati all of these customs were questioned Bengal was seeing this cultural progress in all its fields science religion arts and literature there was this hero in particular who i want to talk about Ishwar Chandra Vidyasagar among many other things he was a sanskrit scholar and a polyglot At that time Bengali was considered to be a inferior form of Sanskrit. It didn't have an identity of its own. Vidyasagar ji was the one who formalized the script to 12 vowels and 40 consonants and removed the letters that were redundant like dirghori and dirghori at that point. He made all efforts to make the language of the masses and of the commons. It was this literary revolution that was triggered by the likes of Rabindranath Tagore and mm. Vidyasagar. that bengali became a language that people loved and celebrated well guys truth be told i feel i have made a good case but i'll admit that sweetness is a subjective term all the examples i gave here are based on certain assumptions about what makes sounds sweet for example some people find german harsh avion aeroplane i am avion truck truck beautiful truck <laughs> truck It depends on many other factors like how you enunciate the language, what is your education level, what is your background, <laughs> and even your gender. Linguistics isn't a hard science like maths. It requires an amount of subjectivity, and that isn't a bad thing. So I don't want you to take away from this video that Bengali is the sweetest language. Bengali is sweet on its own terms, but other languages can be just as sweet or even more. I only hope that you got to learn about this beautiful language and think about how similar or different it is from your language. Uh very. Tai bondura, thank you so much for watching this video. Apnader jodi o video bhalo lage thake tahole share karo, like karo, aur subscribe karo. I speak American. <laughs> so I didn't know that was a did you know that was a stereotype that Bengali is known as being sweet? Yes. You 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 heard, you've heard yes. that stereotype? I've definitely heard that stereotype. Mm. Yes. In fact, probably my first trip there was one of those things of being introduced to it and Indrani explaining how it's what it's known for and the beauty of the language and um I remember her writing the very first she bought me a book my first trip of hidden for hidden palaces of Kolkata and inside she wrote to me in in Hindi Bengali and in English and I I just yes I do have a prejudice toward it but i just i love the sound of bengali i think it's a beautiful language oh do you i do oh that's the only stereotype i know it's just it's yeah. just about it's the o's oh and 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 it's got very soft edges to it do all their curse it. words have o's in them like boca choro most of the wor- words have o and a and ch and ba it's lots of softness yeah. what is it uh Oh no, it's ha, huh, right? Ha. Huh. Like to yeah, get off yes. the, to get off the phone, she just ha ha ha. No, that's ticket, ticket, ticket. She's just ticket.
Yeah. Or ta 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 Like a white man. Yeah. Um, good video, though. Really Very nice. educational. Very, he covered a lot of, yeah. like, scholarly territory. So I'm guessing he's, oh, his YouTube channel is all about linguistics. Yeah. And all those. That's cool. Uh, I would love to see that with every language in India. Yeah. I, uh, I think the Irish have a very sweet language. <sighs> English. No, just the way they talk. You know, some people can't understand. It always it boggles my mind that, like, when Irish people talk. Yeah. Some Scots I understand if they, especially if they're not speaking Gaelic or like they're. Yeah, they'll know. There's some serious obviously. Scottish. But if they're like speaking just English, like people just like uh, they can't understand. They can't understand some Brits. Yeah. Based on where they're. Maybe I'm from. just good at accents, and I, I can. I, I think that's I, part of it. I've because never. Like, I never had a hard time understanding because like Andrani is masterful at english mm -hmm. she can read it she can uh, she's collegiate level english mm -hmm. she's very very good at english however if she hears english with a strong strong accent like she has a good friend hi cara who is in scotland and and cara's boyfriend has a she has a thick scottish accent her boyfriend is e even way heavier i love the scottish and accent. when I, i it's so i i told them when i've talked to him on the phone i've said forgive me i'm gonna slip While I'm talking to you, it's going to be really hard for me to not start talking like this while you're talking at me. And that's how hard he is. Yeah. How you doing, it? You know, instead of Rick, it's, how you doing, Rick? Yeah, I a great day. I love the Scottish and Irish Yeah, but accents, there's, man. even though she, she's, she's got mastery of English, she sometimes does not understand strong accents of the English language, whether it's Scottish, Irish, or even some English accents. She'll have a hard time comprehending what's being said. I've heard her talk to somebody. She was talking to someone recently who he has a Middle Eastern accent. Mm. And every sentence, she was when she was talking to this this gentleman, she was like, what? I, I was picking it up because I've heard it a lot here in L.A. You have a lot of Middle Eastern people. You have a lot of Mexican people. His accent was thick. I, she couldn't understand one sentence. It's funny. Well, yeah. it's a really good video. Uh, please let us know other educational videos. And if you're Bengali, please let us know uh, to tell something in the comments. Curse us. Curse at us. I don't care. Just write something in Bengali uh, down in the comments below. Helps out the algorithm. <laughs> Josh!